Hi and welcome to Lego Club. This week I'm going to be making some fruit, some Lego fruit. Well, shall we jump right in and get started? Alrighty then. Okay, so I've started and I've gone through and picked out mostly green and red and some small white and black pieces. Alright, so to start with, we're going to make a watermelon. So there's our base, going to get some lighter greens. I'm just going to build up my red bits. And the shape of a watermelon slide. So if you just leave a one hole gap and fill it up so it forms the shape of a triangle. There's your first slice of watermelon. So now I'm going to show you how to make a watermelon slice. Just going to stick this one here. So it stands up on a base. Now I'm going to go through and show you how to make a watermelon slice in another view. Okay, let's pop that one there. All right, this time we need green. We need red and we need some white pieces. Okay, so we're going to start off with a, a larger piece, a six by two. And then we're going to slowly build it up with two two by fours. Here. Now we're going to get some. So again, we build it up slowly, leaving a small gap. We leave a ridge on each layer. Wisdom have used the wrong colour, yeah? I'm pretty sure. 
sure that bit of a watermelon is meant to be red. Oh well, try again. Basically, the idea is, is to build it up and make the shape of a watermelon slice. So you've got to do the same thing with the reds. So you keep just a little bit of a lip so that way it looks like it's a gradual process. Like this so far. Right. This should hopefully be our final layer. There is another 3D watermelon slice. Now you can use black for your seeds, but I've chosen to use white because I didn't actually have a lot of black. Um, if you'd like to. And also if you'd like to too, you can actually add another one. You can, if you want to, you can build it up a bit like this one here. Or you can just leave it like this. And again, I'm going to push this on a plate so that way you can visually display it. Alright, now I'm going to move on and I'm going to make an apple. Okay, and now I'm going to teach you how to make an apple. Alright, so we've got our red pieces. Okay. We're going to just start building them up slowly. Okay, so again, creating the little staircase like pattern between each layer to form the rounded shape. Oh no, and I've broken it. I'm just going down four layers and now I'm going to go start bringing that back in to form the round shape. So again, creating that staircase like all the way upside down as we're going, coming back around in. Okay, 
Okay. And then I'm going to just chuck a little brown thing on the top. And because I actually have some little Lego leaves, I'm going to pop that on the top there. And there we have our apple. Right, now I'm going to do a green one. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller. seem to have enough levels here. Yeah. Oh, hang on, I might. Okay, because I've run out of pieces, I'm just gonna just gonna use that one for the base bit. And that is the fun of Lego. We can actually change the colours to suit us if we want to. Now I'm going to pop this one on here. Colour bottom. Let's stick this one on a couple of base plates, just small ones, and there we have it. We have apples, we have watermelon, and another slice of watermelon. And you know what? We've got a teeny tiny little spider. I'm just going to stick this there. Just because he likes to hang out on the little apples. Well, that's it for today's Lego Club. Um, thank you for joining me. And I'd love to see your fruit creations. Maybe you guys could create the strawberry or a banana, and it'd be great if we could see some of your photos in our comments. All right, well, we'll see you next week. Bye.